Yeah, well, it's so hard to get a movie cre- created into the finish line, especially these days. It seems even harder, dude. Especially comedies nowadays, you have to like mask it. This is why it's a big action comedy because you really have to go like action, action, and then right. and then it's a comedy. But this, we, it, we, it's just like it's it's why I was so happy to work with Sandler's company is we could just go full steam on the comedy mm. as opposed to you know you watch comedies nowadays and you're like, no, this isn't a fucking comedy. You're not. Where's the jokes? Like, where's the bits? It's bad. Yeah. Comedy's it, gotten kind of bad, huh? Yeah, it kind of sucks. Yeah. Movie comedy. Movie comedy. Yeah. And there's still good shows and yeah. stuff. But, like, yeah, movie comedy, uh, it's it's hard. But Why? Which, luckily, uh, I th- I, my theory is I think, I think, like, Marvel ruined it. I feel like uh, superhero movies kind of ruined comedies because they... People watch – you go to the theater yeah. and you expect to watch something that costs $200 million to make. Mm. And comedy movies aren't that. aren't that. So you're like, well, why would I spend the same amount of money to go watch a little comedy in a theater if I could spend the same amount of money and go see something that is – is worth two hundred million dollars, right? You know, and, that's, that's and a, then they still make point. those movies kind of funny. Like they're, I mean, right. they're not comedies, but there's like, right? There's ant. They're like, oh my god, is that raccoon talking? Yeah, this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which it is, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. So it's not, it's not like a real comedy. And then now they, there used to be something like every studio would put out several comedies every every year, and there was like forty five or forty six comedies in the theaters. Every year. So about every week or every other week or so, there's a new comedy in the theaters. And uh, and then now, last year, there was like six or seven. That's crazy. It's crazy. And people need – and the crazy thing is is it feels like people need comedy more than ever. Yeah, I feel like they want it. I yeah. feel – yeah. So that's what this movie was. It was like – and it, there's no like hidden message. I feel like nowadays people – like you get to the end of what you think is a comedy right. and you're like – is that about global warming? Yeah. Yeah, you're like, is this, is there like some deep hidden message that I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to recycle more or yeah. like, you know, yeah. there, there has to be something else. <laughs> right. Oh, it. the moon is trans? Is that what, yeah. is that the <laughs> surprise ending? Yeah, you're like, okay, <laughs> well, I, do, I guess we do have to think about that, don't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. A, I agree. There's there's a lot of, what was, there was a great and movie. And that's what your David Spade and uh, your movie is about? It yeah, is, yeah. Trans Moon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are just the people to, 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 to spread that message. Oh, Thank it's you. about transportation. It's about... <laughs> A lot of vehicles admitting who they really yeah, are. Yeah, like cars wanting to be motorcycles, motorcycles wishing they were scooters. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's where things are, man. Oh, dude, there's a riveting scene where a short bus uh, admits that he's a skateboard. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's powerful. Whoa. It's powerful. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> But the crazy thing is, I feel like you could walk into a place and pitch that, and, and you they, would... yeah, and they wouldn't laugh you out of the room. They'd be like, "Okay, <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know." Because I like my job now is kind of well, obviously acting and that kind of stuff. But then, like, I'm pitching a lot, so I like pitch movies. Uh, and every executive is like, "Yeah, but why should we make this movie now?" And you're like, "Cause it's funny." Yeah. I said, it's funny, bitch. What do you mean? <laughs> like, whatever happened to just like we want to make people laugh? Like, it doesn't need to be right. Yeah, right. There, it doesn't need to attach itself to some like hook in the world right now. It doesn't. I mean, if it does, and that's the movie, then sure. Right. But it doesn't always have to. It no. could just be like whatever happened to just it's funny for funny's sake. I know. I feel like Super Bad was one of the last movies that they kind of had like that in some ways. Like that was really just super funny. Like, I mean, there's been a lot of other funny movies. I'm not saying that. Um, yeah, but I get what you're saying. It was like The Hangover, Super Bad. It was like that was sort of the last gasp of. Like for no reason at all. Like this is just fucking funny because yeah. it's funny. Mm-hmm. You know? And luckily, like, Netflix is one of the places that is just willing to roll the dice a little more than than other places because it matters so much less. Like, like, like The Machine and Sebastian's movie um, About My Father, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, the fact that they put both of those movies out on the same weekend, I'm like, that fucking sucks. Because, like, you're putting out six movies all year long 
And then you put two of them out on the same, same weekend. weekend. And so, like, if you were going to go see a comedy, you had to choose between these two. And then when those movies only make $8 million or whatever opening weekend, well, you're like, well, if it was only the one movie. Maybe could have made 14. Could have made, yeah, 15, 16. And then that's a healthy amount for it to make. But. Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, support. If you like comedy, support comedies. Watch it. Tell your friends to watch it. Um, and then and then we'll have the opportunity to make more of them. And. And it used to be, you know, well, people are like, well, if you made better comedies, then and it's like, sure. But it's hard to make a movie, first of all. It's really hard. And, and secondly, uh, there used to be like 40 shots and making a good comedy. And then it, maybe two or three of them were a classic comedy. And you're like, well, that old school. And it came out and you're like, well, there was 28 other movies that weren't old school that came out that year. You know what I mean? Right. So uh, the more wow. opportunities we have to make classic comedies, the, the the more we'll be able to to nail it. But I I do think Outlaws uh, has a potential to be one of those type of movies. So I'm really proud of it. Hope you enjoyed that video, and you can watch another, and you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one. <laughs>